On a beautiful day in Amsterdam. Amy Donovan. A young Dutch girl. Found herself spending her time between. College classes at one of her cherished downtown restaurants. She was a freshman in college. Though her true passion lay in the arts. Specifically painting. Unfortunately. Her parents insisted on her studying medicine. Causing her to resent her college education. She dreamt of the day she could open her own art studio and dedicate herself to fine arts. This particular restaurant held a special place in Amy's heart. Serving as her escape from the demands of her college life. She was convinced that she wouldn't run into her parents there. As they lived on the other side of town. One day. As she checked her watch and prepared to leave. An all too familiar voice disrupted her plans. Her curiosity was piqued. And she hesitated to pay her bill. Turning her attention to the source of the voice. She soon spotted a couple seated at a distant. Concealed table in the restaurant. This couple comprised a middle-aged man. And an astonishingly beautiful young woman. The man seemed excessively gallant. And unabashedly infatuated with his companion. To Amy's dismay. It didn't take long for her to realize that the middle-aged man was. In fact. Her father. His companion was unmistakably his mistress. The shock of this revelation rendered Amy motionless. Caught between her conflicting emotions. She had been on the verge of leaving the restaurant. But decided against it. As she would need to pass by her father to reach the exit. Instead. She chose to stay and observe discreetly. Amy couldn't help but notice the stark age difference. Between her mother and the mistress. The mistress. A striking woman with long hair and the figure of a runway model. Appeared to be close to Amy's age. As she sat at her table. She strained to eavesdrop on their conversation. The mistress's loud. Unpleasant laughter grated on her nerves and her order of the most expensive dish. And wine only heightened Amy's dismay. Amy was torn between her impulse to call her mother. And expose her father's actions and her desire to see. How the situation would unfold. In the end. She decided to wait. And eventually. Her father and the young woman left the restaurant. An hour after finishing their meal. Her father's passionate kiss with the woman inside. The car through the window was a sight that Amy couldn't ignore. As the lover slowly exited the car and turned the corner. Amy's father got in his own car and drove away. Amy discreetly followed. Her intentions unclear even to herself. She felt a burning need to uncover the truth. Fortunately. Her father's lover didn't keep her waiting long. She arrived at a nearby beauty salon. The beautiful woman entered the salon. And promptly put on a uniform. Ready to tend to a client's nails. Amy watched through the large windows and realized. That this was where the woman worked. It was at this point that a clever plan began to form in Amy's mind. She swiftly dialed the beauty salon's phone number. And posed as a new client. The young woman known as Jill, listened as Amy mentioned a friend's recommendation, and expressed a desire to have her nails done, by one of the manicurists at the salon. Amy described Jill's appearance and schedule, an appointment at the same time. Her plan was set in motion, and within a few days, Amy went to get her nails done by her father's mistress. Words couldn't adequately capture the whirlwind, of emotions a daughter experiences. When discovering her father's betrayal of her beloved mother. The memories of the embarrassing scene she had. Witnessed at the restaurant made it difficult for her. To face her father at home. Her parents had always been her role models. And she struggled to comprehend why her father. Would jeopardize their family's happiness. The thought of her mother being extremely sad and disappointed because of her father's 
actions weighed heavily on her. She cherished her mother and didn't want her father to hurt her. Amy loved her father too. But her anger was palpable, particularly due to his pretensions and the false excuses he had made about his whereabouts that day. Amy remained resolute in her plan. She wouldn't give up until she unraveled the mystery of who Jill was. Only then would she decide whether to share her findings with her mother and determine the next steps. Amy arrived at the beauty salon on time. They engaged in light conversation. While Jill meticulously worked on Amy's nails, Amy couldn't help but fixate on Jill, trying to discern what her father found in her. It was evident that the woman was stunning and charming. Being 23 years old, tall, and possessing lush lips. However, Amy couldn't help but notice that Jill wore fake jewelry and inexpensive perfume, suggesting that her father didn't spare any significant expenses on his mistress. This puzzled Amy, considering her father's wealth and his habit of lavishing gifts on his wife and daughter. Despite her curiosity, Amy was cautious not to inquire about Jill's personal life, as she felt it was better to befriend her first to avoid arousing suspicion. So, they chatted about light topics like the weather, fashion, and TV shows. Amy quickly became a regular at the salon, and over three months, she shared most of her life story with Jill. Eventually, Amy started discussing her parents, emphasizing how much they loved each other, and their happiness together. In response, Jill opened up to Amy and revealed her involvement with a married man. Amy pretended to be shocked and paid close attention to Jill's every word. According to Jill, the man was kind and generous, frequently gifting her beautiful flowers and taking her to upscale restaurants. Jill shared that the man had not slept in the same bed as his wife for a long time and couldn't divorce her due to their daughter still being in college. However, he promised Jill that he would file for divorce in two years. Once his daughter graduated and moved to another city. And then he would propose to her. Listening to this. Amy struggled to contain her emotions. She fought the urge to reveal her true feelings. And instead feigned happiness for Jill. Commending her man for making plans for their future. Jill was convinced that Amy had become a loyal. And dependable friend. It was at this moment that Amy realized why her father had kept the truth from her for so long. Jill was a naive young woman who had never been particularly focused on her studies. Amy and Jill were of a similar age, and Amy genuinely felt sorry for her. She knew that her father was deceiving the innocent girl, and Amy couldn't help but feel compassion for her. Nevertheless, her love and loyalty were more profoundly reserved for her mother. With 23 years of marriage bonding them, she was determined not to tolerate any more lies and deceptions. Amy's birthday was drawing near, and she planned to host a small party at her house, inviting only her closest friends and relatives. Of course, Jill received an invitation. Initially, Jill hesitated, feeling that she didn't need to be invited as merely a manicurist. However, Amy insisted and extended the invitation out of politeness. Amy persuaded Jill to attend her party and lied by, saying that her parents had been eager to meet their daughters. New friend for quite some time. On the day of the party, Amy strategically placed pictures of her parents together in prominent locations throughout the house. She aimed to showcase their love for each other so that it echoed throughout the entire house. Amy's efforts didn't stop there. During the party, she intentionally introduced Jill to her parents. Precisely at the moment when her father was 
assisting her mother with the party preparations. Though her father tried not to reveal his nervousness. His pale face betrayed his feelings. He nearly collapsed and had to leave the kitchen. To hide his embarrassment, Amy gazed into Jill's eyes without wavering and was surprised to find her expression remained completely composed. Even indifferent. It was astonishing how unruffled she appeared in such a tense situation. Amy suspected that Jill had already figured out her father's entire plan. But she wasn't about to let her father's mistress off easily. She continued to whisper in Jill's ear about the enjoyable family vacations they had taken together and the numerous gifts her father had bestowed upon her mother. Amy eventually gave Jill a tour of the spacious house, showing her pictures of the happy couple in every room, and providing detailed stories about each one. As Amy spoke, Jill's face grew increasingly tense, indicating her growing impatience. She spent the rest of the evening wearing a solemn expression, clearly out of place and visibly angry. Amy's father and Jill crossed paths at the party a few times, but pretended not to notice each other. Jill couldn't bear it any longer and fully grasped Amy's scheme. Simultaneously, she realized the extent of her father's deceit. It didn't matter that he had promised to divorce his wife. Jill would forever be his mistress because he evidently had no intention of leaving that house. Jill quickly set down her champagne glass, muttered something about not feeling well, and left the party. Amy never saw her again, not even when she returned months later, to the salon where she worked. The salon manager revealed that she had fallen, madly in love with a wealthy Italian and had abandoned everything to live with him in Milan. Unfortunately, the man had deserted her, and she was now residing in a garage as a favor, without a job or the means to return to her home country. As for her unfaithful father, Amy waited until the party was over to have a candid conversation with him. She told him that she knew everything and had been aware for months. She had hoped he would eventually confess the truth to her mother. She expressed her love for him but made it clear that his actions were unacceptable. She urged him to tell her mother the truth. Before she felt compelled to do so herself, Amy hoped he would come to his senses and make the right decision. The next day, Amy's father met with his wife and disclosed the entire story, expressing his profound regret for his betrayal. In the end, his wife promptly filed for divorce, stating that she had never felt so deceived in her entire life. Years later, she found another man who genuinely respected and loved her. As for Amy, she eventually forgave her father, who had not forgotten the remarkable woman he had lost. Everyone ponders whether they'll ever discover true love in their lives. But what perplexes them even more is when they encounter unknown couples who appear to have found such love. People tend to be suspicious and apprehensive particularly when they see a very young person married to someone significantly older, especially if that older person is wealthy. The truth is, we never truly understand the depths of people's emotions or whom they love. However, in the case of Evelyn, a young woman known for her knack for getting by and taking advantage whenever possible, her intentions were far from pure. She was drawn to Robert's substantial wealth, planning to execute the classic scheme of taking advantage of an elderly person. Little did she know what Robert had in store for her. Evelyn was a 25-year-old woman employed at a pet shop, where she spent her days bathing dogs, cats, and other animals. Despite her strong dislike for them, she was only there for the paycheck which allowed her to make ends meet, and the perks she received. Deep down, she was unhappy, leading a somewhat dreary life. She felt unable to live the beautiful life, 
she had always dreamed of and to achieve her aspirations. Additionally, she had a penchant for avoiding her own expenses whenever possible, which often hindered her from doing the things she desired. Her routine involved waking up early, heading to work, coming home late, and dealing with animals she detested. One day, a friend of Evelyn's invited her to dine at an upscale restaurant. It was an expensive place. And Evelyn only accepted the invitation because her friend agreed to cover her share of the bill. Although she had never dined in such an establishment, she felt oddly at ease from the moment she stepped in. The restaurant exuded sophistication and was filled with the city's wealthiest and most refined patrons. Surprisingly, she felt a sense of belonging and even a slight empowerment in the presence of these people. More so than with her own family. Evelyn savored the finest cuisine and beverages that night. As she left the restaurant, she noticed a sign outside indicating that they were hiring. Without a second thought, she decided to return the next day for a job interview. She arrived early, even before the venue opened to the public, and was fortunate to have her interview conducted by the owner of the entire restaurant franchise, Mr. Robert. Normally, he wouldn't have conducted interviews himself, but Evelyn made a distinct impression with her early arrival and determination. Mr. Robert, the elderly owner of the restaurant, was initially delighted with the young woman's insistence on seeking a job. Evelyn, a strong and determined individual, made a lasting impression with her eloquence and ability to comport herself in an upscale establishment. Mr. Robert had no reservations about hiring her, and she was assigned to work in reservation booking, receiving customers, and guiding them to their tables. During her first month on the job, Evelyn displayed impeccable dedication. Arriving early each day, her unusual beauty and insistence on providing Excellent service attracted a wave of new customers to the restaurant. This significantly pleased Mr. Robert, as she effectively improved the restaurant's reputation. Unbeknownst to Mr. Robert, this was all part of Evelyn's calculated plan. During the interview, she noticed the absence of a wedding ring on his finger, and the presence of photos on the restaurant, wall featuring a lady, who appeared to be his age. Realizing he was a widower and deducing that he was well into his 80s, Evelyn hatched a scheme to seduce the elderly man and make him fall in love with her. She recognized that his age and appearance suggested he had limited years left to live, allowing her to marry him, wait for his eventual passing, and inherit his substantial wealth and the restaurant franchise. The young woman felt no qualms about manipulating and deceiving the humble man for a few years, as the potential monetary reward was her sole concern. Her plan was set into motion, and it worked like a charm. Mr. Robert, with his gray hair and advancing age, was charmed by Evelyn's efforts. He was so pleased with her work that he invited her to a dinner at a restaurant outside the city one that belonged to a friend of his. It was during this dinner that Evelyn pulled out all the stops, seducing and flattering him throughout the evening. Mr. Robert was not resistant to her advances, and he was open and honest with the young woman. He disclosed some details about his love life, mentioning that his wife had passed away five years ago. He had met her in high school, and they had married at a young age together building their entire restaurant empire and sharing their entire lives. A few weeks later, the pair continued to spend time together, occasionally going out and getting to know each other. Evelyn even asked Mr. Robert to be her partner. Surprising the old man, he was taken aback that a woman as attractive as her wanted to be with a man of his age. 
but he felt flattered and happily accepted her request. Evelyn remained dedicated, introducing him to places and experiences he had never known before, discovering new and remarkable places in the city that even she hadn't visited due to their expensive nature. Evelyn, with genuine care and devotion, ensured that Mr. Robert felt cherished. Inevitably, Mr. Robert fell deeply in love with Evelyn, feeling a renewed sense of vitality and zest for life in her company. With her, he experienced fresh adventures and met individuals he would never have encountered otherwise. He was enchanted and happier than he had been in years. Inspired by his feelings, Mr. Robert decided to undertake an extravagant act, something out of the ordinary for him. He rented a sizable yacht, a surprise even Evelyn hadn't anticipated. They had been together for a few months, and he didn't want to waste any more time. He was content with his old-fashioned ways and he wanted to propose to Evelyn on that very boat. Selecting an afternoon with clear skies and calm weather, he meticulously arranged every detail to ensure the occasion was perfect. And indeed it was. To his delight, Evelyn accepted his proposal, leaving Mr. Robert overjoyed. Despite his happiness, he couldn't help but notice that Evelyn often spent considerable time on her cell phone, taking pictures and engaging in conversations with others. He assumed it might be with a friend, but he began to observe her behavior more closely. Unbeknownst to him, the young woman was spending extravagant amounts every week on clothes from the most prestigious brands globally. She was purchasing items that cost the equivalent of luxury apartments and exceedingly expensive jewelry. Evelyn seamlessly adapted to the opulent lifestyle, appearing as though she had been born and raised in such luxury. This behavior began to concern Mr. Roberts' bank manager, as he had never previously made such significant withdrawals. Despite having been affluent for decades and having built an upscale restaurant empire from humble beginnings, Mr. Robert had always led a modest life. He directed his finances primarily towards his business, refraining from purchasing extravagant homes or luxury items. Occasional splurges, such as the one he made to propose to Evelyn by renting the yacht, were rare occurrences. When the bank manager contacted him to inquire about the substantial withdrawals from his account, Mr. Robert's suspicions heightened. He began to question Evelyn's intentions, particularly in light of her prolonged cell phone conversations and prolonged absences from home. His apprehension grew as he started to suspect that she might have ulterior motives. Solely interested in his wealth, having been married for the majority of his life, he had never been concerned about such matters, because his late wife did not prioritize money as much as he did. Nevertheless, this ongoing concern was gnawing at him, causing inner turmoil and anxiety. Every month that passed intensified his fears of being exploited. Mr. Robert's decision to marry the young woman had initially been an attempt to bring stability to his life and alleviate his anxieties. Faced with the unsettling doubts and uncertainties that plagued him, Mr. Robert reached out to a close friend and hired a private detective. The detective embarked on a weeks-long surveillance, photographing Evelyn's activities every day. When the modest man received the detective's final report, he was confronted with a harsh reality. Evelyn had been unfaithful nearly every day, using her financial resources to shower her lovers with gifts. Mr. Robert was devastated. For the first time since his wife's passing, he had placed trust in someone. And this was the heartbreaking outcome. Despite the overwhelming sadness and reluctance to confront the situation, Mr. Robert believed he needed to take action as quickly as possible. He decided to reduce the credit limits on all the cards Evelyn possessed. The first time she attempted to use a card and it was declined. 
she was taken aback. Desperate to resolve the situation, she tried to contact her husband. But her efforts were in vain. She was ultimately forced to return all her purchases to the store. Experiencing a profound sense of humiliation, the wealthy individuals around her in the posh store gazed at her disapprovingly, subjecting her to the judgment she had always silently directed at others. Evelyn was incensed but still believed her plan was proceeding as intended. Upon returning home, she confronted her husband, demanding an explanation for the card's rejection. He feigned ignorance and suggested it must have been a bank-related issue. Promising to address it the next day, Evelyn attempted to conceal her frustration and passed the incident off casually. But she could not hide her seething anger. The filter of enchantment he had once placed on her had faded, allowing him to see her true nature and priorities. Mr. Robert was resolute in not allowing the lies to go unpunished. The following day, he visited the bank, not to resolve the credit card problem but to amend his marriage contract and inheritance arrangements. His late wife had been unable to bear children, leaving Mr. Robert without heirs. With no surviving siblings or family, people had long questioned the fate of his wealth and businesses. Unfortunately, the restaurant owner's carefully laid plan was abruptly disrupted by his sudden demise. Unbeknownst to anyone, he had been battling cancer for several years and was acutely aware of his impending passing. He felt a profound sense of betrayal by the last person he had placed his trust in. However, he was determined to make his final act something exceptional. And he left behind a letter with his devoted butler to convey his final farewell. In the face of her husband's passing, Evelyn took charge of planning the funeral exactly. As Mr. Robert had specified in his letter, she invited all his oldest friends and ensured that his will was read aloud. Even though she was skeptical and did not entirely comprehend why she was complying with his instructions, the reading commenced by expressing gratitude to all those who had attended, acknowledging their importance in the old man's life. The letter also paid tribute to his late wife and conveyed his happiness at finding the love of his life, insinuating that they could be together for eternity. This made his current wife visibly uncomfortable, and the assembled guests regarded her with knowing glances. When the will came to address his current wife, it acknowledged her as a vital presence in his life, emphasizing how she had made the final years of his life extraordinarily special. Mr. Robert stated that the young woman had introduced him to new and unique experiences and allowed him to explore beautiful places. For this, he expressed his gratitude. However, the part that took everyone by surprise was the gift he left for Evelyn. He had left behind a massive framed picture of himself, caught in the act of a joyful and hearty laugh. Such an image was a rarity as the old man was known for his serious demeanor and infrequent smiles. The guests presumed it was a special intimate gift for Evelyn. Something not everyone could see. But Evelyn understood the message immediately. He was aware of her plan all along. And this laughter captured in the picture was his response to everything she had done. As for the immense fortune, it turned out to be far more substantial than anyone had ever imagined. In recent years, Mr. Robert had wisely invested a significant portion of his wealth, resulting in substantial profits that nearly doubled his fortune. However, in a shocking turn of events, the entire wealth was to be donated to charities. Evelyn was left with nothing, no property, no car, and all her possessions, including the restaurants, would be sold with the proceeds directed towards charitable causes. The entirety of the old man's substantial wealth was directed to his old friend, the sole owner of the restaurant where Mr. Robert 
and Evelyn had their first dinner together. Additionally, all the recent purchases made by Evelyn were to be sold off. With the proceeds evenly distributed, this led to the removal of all of Evelyn's clothing and luxury items, leaving her with nothing but devastation. Her entire scheming plan had collapsed, and she found herself back at square one, with no money and no prospects. Overcome with a mixture of despair and rage, she couldn't control her emotions and broke down in tears, her wails echoing through the room. Evelyn's humiliation at the reading of her late husband's will became the talk of the town, tarnishing her reputation irreparably. She never achieved the social standing. She had desired and lost what few friends she had. Forced to return to her former job at the pet shop, she found herself once again bathing animals and living the same miserable life she had led before meeting Mr. Robert. While saddened by the betrayal, Mr. Robert found solace in the memory of his true love. His late wife, he passed away with the knowledge that he had once found genuine love, realizing that Evelyn was nothing more than a gold digger, who ultimately failed to achieve her selfish ambition.